What's up guys? Back at it again. So this video is about the Subaru curse continues. So last week the window got smashed. I'm gonna drop the video of that. And my clutch pedal assembly kit snapped in half completely. So yeah. I'm surprised. I thought a head gasket was something to blow up in the engine first, but no. Freaking other parts are breaking in this car. Well, uh, this week was not my week with this car. There's this. It comes in the big box for no reason. So I have my whole new set. So what happened was the piece that goes right here completely cracked all around. Not where the welds are, right there. I was showing you when I took the other one out. It legit cracked right there completely. What happened was my pedal kept squeaking, squeaking, squeaking. So I, I just kept pulling uh, greasiness slash lubrication in where the bushing is. And it, took, it went away, but I kept coming back and coming back. So I was getting aggravated. And then the one day I was like, okay, I'm getting really fed up with it. I don't know what was wrong with it. Looked underneath and yeah, the whole thing cracked over. So when I kept putting the clutch in, this piece right here was cracked, like I said. So this part right here was just wiggling like this. And every time I put the clutch in and out, it just like kept like snapping more and more and just kept making the squeaking noise louder. Like, I'm not lying to you. That squeaking noise was so freaking loud. It was ridiculous. Like, it makes me want to blow this car up. So I'm gonna drop the link down in the description why I bought this. This was, I think, $291 plus shipment. So almost $400 because I paid extra shipment because if I didn't pay the extra shipment it would come in like in two, three, four weeks and I kind of need a car. So I paid I think three, four days shipment. It was like over a hundred some dollars. Kind of expensive but gotta have to do it when this is the only car you gotta drive to work every day. It's a daily accessory car. Connect the battery and what I'm doing is I'm taking all the trim piece out, even the bottom. So it's more reachable for me to take the full bolts that's on the, this side where the clutch is and all the freaking wires. I'll show you it after I take this whole trim out. Alright, so there is four, if this ever focus, well this focus right better than mine. There's four connections that you got unplugged for the bottom trim piece to come out. So I'm going to show you where this piece is cracked. <coughs> Uh, where is it? All right, there. If you see it, that is completely cracked all the way around. And this is the bush that I was talking about. If you guys can see it, that's full of lubrication and all that crap. Yeah, I OD it because it was annoying. But that's the piece that cracked all the way around, and that's the piece I have to replace. They say it takes about a three and a half hour process, but hopefully I can get this done in a shorter time frame. I always let you guys know how long it would took me overall. Alright, I think I took the clips out. There's one right there, and there's two right here. The pan of the bottom one is legit this one right here. The white one was common sense, but this one right here was like a pan of the butt. You gotta take a first clip out, then you need to pop this clip out completely, if that makes sense. Uh, I think. I think I got all the clips out. Let me double check. Then I'll tell you guys what to do next. Alright. So there's going to be a clip. Alright. There. Another clip is going to be right there. There's a third one. That's right there. Somewhere. I'll show you if I can find it. Up right there. This is going to be a pain of the butt to get this one out right there. It's a 12. I gotta figure out how to take that one out because this one was easy, but that one looks like a pain in the butt. If you ever freaking focus. Yeah, that one right there. All right, so I took the pin out for the brake and I took the pin out for the clutch. You don't have to take the pin out for where the clutch pedal is right there. I did. But I shall look at the assembly again because it comes with a whole new spring, all that stuff. Then it's a 12 right there, right there, all around there, and then the firewall. And this whole clutch assembly should come out without having a hustle. But you know how life is. Yeah, the camera's dirty, but I don't care. So 
Easy way to take down one out is just take the brake sensor out. All you gotta do is screw it like that and it pops out completely. Now I'm gonna get that free and get the other rest free. All right, to so get the last two bolts free, you always you gotta take the clutch pedal out completely and use a small ratchet. So this is the last step. Both of those nuts are 12s. I'll break those two free. And the whole clutch assembly kit will just come out. All right, got everything freed up. Now I just gotta figure out how to take this out. This is gonna be the fun part. So I have the whole thing free, but it didn't want to come out because it's like in a tight spot. So what I did was I took this piece out. I uh, connect almost all the wires right here. Oh, let me see, I'll show you. I took the box out. This box right here, out. And that's it. So that's the crack. It started where the welds were. I did not know that. Underneath the car, it looked like it started like right there. It goes all around to the other welds, like this much is like left until it's completely cracked. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you, this is legit the most pain ass fucking job I ever fucking did ever in this fucking stupid ass fucking Subaru.